welcome to LPEP, the music quiz show that answers the question, does Aussie hip-hop suck? The answer is no. You suck. <laughs> As always, would you please welcome our team captains, Adam Knox and Beck Rosso. <laughs> Adam's first guest isn't afraid to tell you that he won Australia's Raw Comedy Competition back in 2007. In fact, he's been using that line to pick up ladies ever since. If any of you ladies are interested, he likes long walks on the beach and watching Home Alone. Ladies and gentlemen, set your faces to stunner. It's Jonathan Schuster. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's true. It's true. It's true. Adam's second guest played bass in various bands for several years, but the only song he could play was the theme song from Seinfeld. So we got into comedy. It's Dave Warnicky. <laughs> Beck's first guest tonight actually went to the same high school as Adam. One of them was funny, intelligent, and well-liked by everybody, and the other one was Adam. Would you please welcome Remy? Beck's second guest has described himself as wanting to make music for everyone, which means that indirectly he makes music for terrorists. From Nozu and the NSA's watch list, it's Nick Ugis. <laughs> um, you've got a 12-inch coming out a little bit later this year, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I've got um, been working on a 12-inch for Home Loan Records, and mm -hmm. it's kind of taking um, a bit of uh, the Nozu foot in the dance world a little bit more towards that that kind of way because mm. you know we've got the lot really big live band thing and also the more dance orientated stuff so it's kind of a little foot into that direction yeah now what is beat heat is it heat beat beat heat heat beat heat yeah, beat yeah. what is heat beat well heat beat like the uh, music for everybody thing is a little bit tongue in cheek heat beat is just um, my own genre that i made up for what we play <laughs> <laughs> Remy, you went to school with Adam. I did. Was what was he like as a child? He's funny. Funny dude? He's a funny dude. Funny at school. Was he like the class clown? Was he... Well, we weren't in the same year, so like... Oh. I saw him in the hallways and he was funny in the hallways, so I assume he was funny everywhere. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you stole his bowling shoes? Not Remy's. I stole a pair of bowling shoes during school, but oh. that's... <laughs> wow. yeah. What a wacky character. I wore them for like... Two months. <laughs> Why does somebody have bowling shoes? Because we went bowling. <laughs> That's what you did. Which school is yeah. this? Yeah. I want to go to this school. Fake one. <laughs> Fake one. Yeah. No, we did a lot of a lot of stupid shit at that you school. You wore bowling shoes? You know how many people put their feet in bowling uh. shoes? Yeah, I know. Except, <laughs> well, I was wearing socks. I, uh, <laughs> it's not like he's licking the sock yeah. of the shoe. <laughs> I wasn't drinking out of them. But we went. But we did. The, we had a thing like three times a week for 80 minutes called activities where we just sort of we'd go like do like clay work or I don't know what we did you what kind this of This wasn't a Steiner do? school this was a real school. Steiner school. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Makes so much sense yeah. We used to my favorite thing we used to do at school was did you ever do this where, where um in the library there was a big cardboard cutout of Wally from Where's Wally and we'd always used to steal it and hide it so that the library person would come out and go, oh, where's Wally? <laughs> it was my favourite thing. <laughs> and that's how he got his start in comedy. Very well done. <laughs> Remy, you do have an EP that'll hopefully be out some point uh, early next year? Um, yeah, well, I'm not sure when it's going to be out, but I'm pretty hyped for it. I think yeah. regardless, it should be pretty cool. Shu, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, I'm enjoying it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, you've got a hell of an interesting mug because it's got no handle. This is my sister got in South America, um, and it's just a man with a, with a top off, I don't know. But we had a house party, and then some backpacker um, broke it. Why is that my intro? Why am I talking about, <laughs> talking about all their shit they've done? I'm talking about a broken mug. <laughs> well, actually, I've got a fringe show called The Happiest Bowbird. So. Which just finished half a month ago and it was we're in october and i got so many awards for it really yeah, i smashed it how many awards uh eight eight <laughs> <laughs> out of a possible seven say eight <laughs> awards for me dave hi mike uh i'd like to say like nick i also have a 12 inch coming out but it has nothing to do with music oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the way that you've been represented to the Australian people. I'm happy with that, happy with that. <laughs> Our first round tonight is Hits and Giggles. Each team will watch two artists' music videos and then pick one of the artists as the answer to my question. Beck, Remy, Nick, let's take a look at yours. Hello. 
That was Matt Corby with Resolution and Bernard Fanning with Battleships. But which one of these two artists, when asked to give their younger selves one single piece of advice, said, stop frowning, you miserable <laughs> <laughs> oh What do you know about either of them? I don't know, they're particularly, um, like, fluent in... Oh, bad words, what? Fluent in swearing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? They both seem fairly miserable. Yeah. That's but not, true. Not yeah. That the something, I don't feel like... Something for Kate variety, though. Yeah. So that yeah. guy, what's Patrick? Uh, he never obviously gave himself those words of advice. <laughs> Did he? Where you guys are now, would you give any advice to your younger selves if you could? Probably like, you don't need that Ja Rule CD. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm trying to think back to early Powderfinger, whether they were quite miserable. I mean, their voice, like their songs are up and down. You can't really say that they're particularly happy or particularly sad, right? Mm. My I Happiness mean... is probably the most sad, like the saddest song ever. <laughs> yeah, I know, and it's called My Happiness. My and they go like, yeah. like a dog, treat me like a dog, keep me locked in a cage. I'm gonna go with Bernard. Yeah, yeah right, I it's gotta it... be Bernard. And like... Because yeah. Michael was too young to say something like that. Yeah, he could probably still be miserable, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's at the point yeah. where he could still be in that misery yeah. phase, whereas, you know, mm. Bernard's like, sh he should be past it. <laughs> he's got like, yeah. he's yeah, got he's, like peacocks and shit in his yeah. video. Yeah. He's making money off car parks. That made me happy. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna stick. We're gonna go we'll with Bernard. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You're wrong. It was Matt Corby that called himself that naughty word. Adam, Dave, Shu, let's take a look at yours. That was the presets with Fall and Deezy Death Rays with No Sleep. But which one of these two artists said they'd rather kill themselves than work with Danny Minogue? Now that's a really extreme reaction. Though. It is. It's Just a let a thing play to say. The, play the triangle up the back or something. Don't yeah. kill yourself. <laughs> Just don't give her a big role. She's not like the absolute worst person that you would like ever not want to do a collaboration. After with. they killed Gaddafi, I reckon she's pretty high up. <laughs> Okay. She's sure. fine. I'm sure she's like that. She's an attractive, talented woman who um, I one day hope to work with. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I, just, I wanted to say really quickly with that presets video, do you know I found out the other day that I'm, I'm, I'm too fat to skydive? I'm above the weight limit. What's, you need to, what's it's 98 kilos and I'm above that. I could go nearly how, twice. How much, <laughs> I could go twice. How much do you weigh though? Over 98 kilos. What, what, what would you say exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd say that... <laughs> no pressure, but I weigh 52. Yeah. I, I, I could... If, if I weighed you could Dave, eat Dave, I, I could eat you. another Dave. <laughs> and that would be about my weight. Wow. Yeah. All right, there Good we go. Know, I'm, I'm quite tall and everything, but like, and what freaked me out about it is that like, that's how they drop off care packages into like starving countries. They can drop in <laughs> enough food to feed a country. With a parachute? Yeah. <laughs> but they can't drop And it. I've eaten more food than that. <laughs> what do you reckon? What do you reckon, Dave? Do you know, I reckon yeah. uh, these are death rays sound pretty badass. <laughs> Something <like> a bad <laughs> <laughs> My research, which is none, is correct. You're going with Deezy death rays? Yep. Yeah. You're wrong! Oh. It was the presets that weren't too keen on a collaboration with Danny Minogue. At the end of that round, we have both teams on zero points. What are you guys doing? All right. Our next round is Bangers and Mash. Each team will listen to a mashup with two different songs in them. Teams must guess the names of the songs in the mashup, and then with those song names in mind, make a new name for the mashup. Adam, Dave, Shu. You're up first. Adam, Dave, Shu, you heard a mashup. What were the two songs in that mash? So the singing was uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. It was Give It Away. Yes, 100%. And what did you say the backing was? So I think it's the Ting Ting, Shut Up and Let Me Go. That's also correct. Very right. well done. Two for two. Yeah. With those titles in mind, guys, what did you have for me? Good, good one. 
so red hot chili peppers and, and ting tings, it might be like a, a sort of Rastafarian dude explaining what he thought of the quality of the song, like a red hot ting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bet, Remy, Nick, let's listen to yours. Oh. Uh, um, is that like... Yeah, that's it. Tim Hall? No, it's oh, whoever it is. Oh, yes, it is, yeah. Um, yeah, I know this. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, dead version. Yeah. No. What's his name? Beck, Remy, Nick. What were the two songs in that mashup? Okay, that was Remember Me, the Tame Impala version. Yes. Uh, Stevie Wonder, Superstition. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Very well done. Yeah. Okay, Beck, Remy, Nick, what were the titles that you came up <laughs> we with? Struggled. Yeah. We struggled. Yeah. Um, Wonder Impala. Which is like, if it was like a camp gangster, he would drive a Wonder Impala. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, here comes the Wonder Impala. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm seeing the chain of thought there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to make this work even more. At the end of that round, we have both teams on six points. Very well done, guys. <laughs> our next round is called Reject Bay. One of our guests has kindly donated an item to be auctioned off online. Teams will see four questions that were asked about the item and then pick which one was really asked. Teams will then bid on how much they think the item sold for. Very kindly, Dave Warnicke. Uh, put together a really beautiful item for us to sell. I think you should refer to it as memorabilia package. It is a memorabilia. It's a DNA authenticated <laughs> napkin uh, that Dave Warnicke put his autograph on. Now, uh, that says DNA authenticated. Mike, I'd like to point out that you took advantage of what I thought was a very intimate moment. <laughs> <laughs> your, your signature looks like, looks a lot like you've just written the word dick. <laughs> Dave, how are you feeling about? Is it possible item? to break eBay with people paying too much money? <laughs> <laughs> there were a few questions that were asked about this item. Let's take a look at what they were. So the first one, dear seller, is it waterproof? Thanks, Jordan. Seventeen oh four oh eight. The next question. Dear seller, would you be willing to accept $45 for the napkin and postage? I'm in desperate need as I have the same one which recently broke on me. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, from jazzjar underscore P. The third question, I was planning on bidding for this napkin, but I was wondering if this was an actual working napkin or a <laughs> dummy model. Uh, from Carly42. And last but not least, who's Dave Warnicky? John So for life. <laughs> Dave, Adam, Shu, uh, which question do you think was really asked about this item? Well, I, I like to point out that it's quite unbelievable that someone wouldn't know who I am, particularly John So, who I have a great relationship with. <laughs> well, we can rule that one out then. <laughs> I think anyone who's, who's smart enough to be in your fan base as well, Dave, would know that a napkin is not waterproof and wouldn't need to ask that. That's the point of a napkin, that it isn't waterproof. That's why they're made. <laughs> But I got, a, I got an Emma Watson uh, autograph. Did you really? Is, yeah, from eBay. And that was like... How much was that? Why uh, would you buy an autograph off eBay? Isn't the I, point... just, I just realised I got it for a gift. I didn't actually buy and I have no idea how much <laughs> but it cost. But sort of the was... point of an autograph is to be like, I have this autograph, here's the story of when I met this person. Yeah. If you go, oh, here's my autograph. Oh, did you meet Emma Watson? No, someone did, though. <laughs> it, it was a present and she'd like from like the second Harry Potter film. So I had it on my like bedroom, like bedside table for a while. And then I realised it was just um, inappropriate. So I took it down. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you ever rubbed it on your face? Oh. She would have been 13. No, she was very young. And I repeat, have you ever rubbed it on your face? <laughs> no, um, but I ended up um, just leaving it. In a, in, a, in a cupboard. For, for someone else? Uh, a no. cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, well, I am going to go against half of my team. Do you, which one do you think it is? I think there's, it's pretty. Uh, <laughs> so if you just discounted my opinion, whatever he says. I'm going to was wondering if this was I'm going to press you guys for an answer. Which one? John So for life? Uh, yeah, I think it's probably who is Dave Warnicky. I'm sorry. Oh. Guys, you've had plenty of time to have a oh. think about which one. What are you going with? I reckon the waterproof one. I reckon one. the waterproof yeah. one. Yeah, let's just go with it. Jordan doesn't know. I like think it's a kiss and everything as well. Yeah, thanks. Oh, so the ex sold it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the real question that was asked about Dave Warnicky's DNA authenticated napkin was 
who's Dave Warnicky oh. and John so far. Bullshit. Oh. Bullshit. <laughs> All right, what I need you to do is place your bids. How much you think it's sold for online? Turn them around. Okay. I've gone for uh, one million Zimbabwean dollars, which roughly translates to about nine cents. <laughs> and you've also signed that, so, so yeah, we so can tell yes. it on again. Yeah. If, so if, if there is a high demand, uh, this no. is waterproof. All right, Adam. What have you gone for? Uh, I've gone for twenty cents, which we reckon is about the price of a ghost drop now, including inflation. I've gone a bit more, and I, I think it's a realistic price: four dollars sixty-five. Because he's Shit, but not that shit. <laughs> uh, Nick, how much do you fair. think? Oh, yeah. Nick, how much do you think it was? I feel really for? bad that I said thirty cents, but I tried to just like spruce it up a bit, make it exciting. <laughs> it looks That's pretty right. good. I did, pretty good. I did. I felt even worse oh. and did one cent. One cent. Negative, Negative ten dollars though from Remy. <laughs> I reckon you would have to pay someone to get rid of a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like no, no, like no diss. I just like you know. Do you not know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask. I do. Like, that's why I think it's negative. <laughs> Are you John So? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've got your bids. Uh, the item actually sold for forty-five oh! cents, which oh. means that, that yes! Nick with thirty cents. Is yes! Well done. And at the end of that round, we've got Beck's team on eight points and Adam's team just behind on seven points. Yes! We're winning! All right. Yes. Our next round is called Cash for Comment, where teams must describe artists without using any song, album or other artists' names. Teams have 50 seconds. Remy? You'll be describing artists for Beck and Nick. Your time starts now. All right, it's like a sand hill. Like, what would you call a sand hill? It's like... June. Yes. Like, um, a mountain, but smaller. June. Hill? The, yeah. Hill? Um, and, like, what is this? This is a high... High hat. Uh, hey, hill top. Afro. Hill uh, top. Hill top. Hill top. Hill top. Hill top. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, right. what, do, uh, what do pandas eat? Uh, bamboo? Yeah. The bamboos. Yeah, the bamboos. Okay. Um, we live on in the Southern Hemisphere. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? World. Yeah. World's and end press. Yeah, that's what yeah. Um Wylan. Wylan. Uh, no, no, no. Um, Wylan. Wylan, he's a uh, roadrunner's. Uh, hiatus. Hiatus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the time. Oh, yeah. Very well done. Yeah. Yeah. Go team. You didn't even need the, didn't even need the 50. Yes. Oh my goodness. Play that shit. Woo. Five for five. Yeah, that's good. Dave, uh, you're going to be describing for Shu and Adam. Your time starts now. You know what will go really well with this golden table? A silver chair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's Warney's favourite band. VB. <laughs> VB. Uh, it's like a... Cricket. The opposite of hot. Uh, cold chisel. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Oh, you know what's the opposite of hot? People that are living in a very cold place? Eskimo Joe. Yes! <laughs> what? How are you getting me? Oh, look into the sky. I wish I could, you know, motivate those things that are hovering in the sky. Cloud control? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's the geeks versus the drama kids. How would we describe that? Fighting the drama kids, I was meant to say. <laughs> it's the geeks fighting the drama kids. How would we describe that scene? And that's... Oh, nice. It's art versus science! Uh, four out of five. Very well done, guys. <laughs> At the end of that round, we have Adam's team on 12 points, while Beck's team leaps ahead on 14 yes. points. <laughs> our last round is the budget round, because we spent all of our money on cue cards. Teams, I need you to finish the lyrics before the buzzer goes. Uh, because you're behind by two points, Adam, Dave, Shu, you will be first. Are you ready? Yes. Great. All right, um, your time you... starts now. I said one, two, three, take my hand and come with me. Because you, you look, look so, so fine, fine that I really want to make you mine. Are you going to be my girl? Jet, these days turned out... Nothing like, like I am planned. These days, Powderfinger. Yeah, they say these days are the best we got. Next. I hope not. Going to pass it over. Say these days they are the say best these days are the best we've got. What a tragic thought, the best we got, the Rubens. I see you walking in the club, making moves, getting love. You know you're sexy. And you know it. 
<laughs> and I know it. Close? No, it, um, you know you're sexy. Uh, uh, any ideas? You know you wanna? Yeah, you flaunt it. TV yeah. Rock featuring oh. Shawnee B, flaunt it. Shake what your mama gave you. Yeah. Uh, now I'm stuck in a moment. It's bad for my health. I'm gone. With the wind. <laughs> Don't just say the first thing Sorry. that comes <laughs> to your head. Now I'm stuck in a say. moment. It's bad for my health. I'm gone. But not forgotten. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm gone Two. fishing. Uh, if I don't emancipate myself, emancipate myself, thirsty Merc, forever young, I want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever? Do you really want to live forever, forever young youth group? So please, baby, please open your heart and... Catch my disease. Catch my disease, Ben Lee. All right, that That's was okay. it. Not bad, guys. Yeah. Beck, Remy, Nick, it's two to draw, three to win. Your time starts now. Going to take you for a ride on a... Big jet plane. Big jet plane, Angus and Julia Stone. Walking on a dream. How can I explain? How can I explain? Walking on a dream, Empire of the Sun. From the bottom of the map, Miami, to the land down under... <laughs> <laughs> From the bottom of the map, Miami to the land down under. We're all going to the pub for a chunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Australia, we run the night. Havana Brown oh, featuring yeah. Pitbull, Come on. our favourite cereal. Uh, so I keep a picture in my wallet of you. So I keep a picture in my wallet of you. No, you, 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 you. Pictures, illy. You didn't even throw that over, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Can you see the Joker flying over? Can you see the Joker flying over? No. That's pretty close. Oh, no. Yeah, I've got over. All the fields. There was something, something fields of clover. As she's, she's standing, as she's standing in, in her fields of clover. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to you, Joker and the Thief Wolf Mother. Oh, why is your hate so addicting? And I just can't get enough. Um, conflicting. Conflicting? Any ideas? Restricting. <laughs> Restricting, no, because uh, oh, why is your hate so addicting? And I, well, I wonder where you've been, shadow, wild nothing, spot before you on Golden Plains, don't worry about it. <laughs> Days that are hotter than my raps. Days that you get high and take naps. Sangria, Remy, I bust hard when I'm live. That's, That's why, why. you're seating me, me holding <laughs> my balls. Like it catches me. Yeah. And that's it. Why did you, why did you read out his songs? You didn't read out any of my songs. What are the titles of the songs that you have made, Adam Knox? Brown Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, that one uh, features the London Philharmonic Orchestra. <laughs> yeah. And at the end of our final round, we had Adam, Shu and Dave on 17 points. And good. Beck, Remy and Nick ahead with 18 yeah. points. Yeah. Well done. A huge thank you to Remy, Nick, Shu and Dave. I've been Mike O'Donoghue. You've been watching LPEP. Have a good one. Yeah.